Welcome to the first part of our two-part series on longevity research and the quest for reversing aging. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating world of anti-aging science, covering groundbreaking research, potential therapies, and the biological mechanisms underlying the aging process. Let's dive in. The quest to reverse the aging process has captivated scientists and researchers for decades, leading to significant advancements in our understanding of biology and the mechanisms of aging. This pursuit has sparked interest in developing a revolutionary pill that could potentially halt or reverse aging effects, offering hope for longer, healthier lives. Researchers are exploring various compounds and therapies that target the biological pathways associated with aging, such as cellular senescence, telomere shortening, and mitochondrial dysfunction. These efforts aim to extend lifespan and enhance health span, the period spent in good health. In addition to pharmacological approaches, lifestyle factors play a crucial role in activating the body's natural defenses against aging. Fasting and exercise have emerged as powerful tools in this regard. Fasting, particularly intermittent fasting, has been shown to trigger autophagy, which cleanses damaged cells and promotes cellular repair. Similarly, regular physical activity enhances cardiovascular health, boosts metabolism, and supports cognitive function, all contributing to longevity. This underscores the empowering role of personal choices in maintaining health and combating aging. Engaging viewers in this conversation about longevity research is essential, as potential breakthroughs could reshape our understanding of aging and health. Innovations such as gene therapy, stem cell research, and the exploration of senolytics, drugs that selectively eliminate senescent cells, are on the horizon, promising to unlock new possibilities for extending life and improving quality of life. The potential of these approaches is not just promising, but also exciting, as we strive to create a future where aging is not synonymous with decline, but rather a phase of life filled with vitality and purpose. Aging is a complex biological process characterized by a gradual decline in physiological function and an increased susceptibility to diseases. One intriguing theory that has emerged in gerontology is the concept of corrupted biological software. This theory posits that the aging process can be likened to a computer system that, over time, accumulates errors and malfunctions in its software. Just as a computer may slow down or become less efficient due to corrupted files, our biological systems may experience a decline in function as the integrity of our genetic and cellular information deteriorates. This corruption can arise from various factors, including environmental stressors, lifestyle choices, and cellular processes, natural wear and tear. At the heart of this theory lies the role of DNA and the epigenome in maintaining cellular function. DNA, the blueprint of life, contains the instructions for all living organisms' growth, development, and maintenance. However, as we age, our DNA becomes increasingly susceptible to damage from external factors such as UV radiation, pollution, and oxidative stress. This damage can lead to mutations that disrupt normal cellular function and contribute to aging. Moreover, the epigenome, which refers to the chemical modifications that regulate gene expression without altering the underlying DNA sequence, plays a crucial role in how our cells respond to environmental cues. Changes in the epigenome can result in the silencing of protective genes or the activation of harmful ones, further exacerbating the aging process. Understanding these biological mechanisms is essential for developing potential rejuvenation strategies. Researchers can target interventions that may reverse or mitigate these effects by identifying the specific pathways and processes that contribute to aging. For instance, therapies aimed at repairing DNA damage, restoring epigenetic balance, or enhancing cellular repair mechanisms are vital to promoting longevity and improving health span. Technological advancements such as CRISPR gene editing and epigenetic reprogramming 
offer exciting possibilities for rejuvenating aged cells and tissues. As we unravel the complexities of aging at the molecular level, the potential for innovative approaches to enhance our health and extend our lifespan becomes increasingly tangible. Ultimately, a deeper understanding of the biological mechanisms underlying aging will inform our strategies for rejuvenation and empower us to make informed lifestyle choices that promote longevity and well-being. Reprogramming cells to restore youthfulness is a groundbreaking area of research with immense potential for regenerative medicine and longevity. Central to this process are three key genes, OCT4, SOX2, and KLF4. These genes are critical components of the transcription factor network that govern cellular identity and pluripotency. Originally identified in the context of embryonic stem cells, OxyT4, SOX2, and KLF4 play a pivotal role in reprogramming somatic cells back to a pluripotent state, effectively resetting their biological clock and restoring youthful characteristics. Cellular reprogramming has profound implications for treating age-related degenerative diseases. When introduced into mature cells, genes like OCT4, SOX2, and KLF4 initiate a cascade of molecular events that lead to the reversion of the cells to a more youthful state. This reprogramming process involves altering gene expression patterns, allowing the cells to regain their ability to divide and differentiate into various cell types. For instance, research has demonstrated that reprogrammed cells can restore functions such as eyesight. In studies involving retinal cells, the introduction of OCT4, SOX2, and KLF4 has shown promise in regenerating photoreceptors the light-sensitive retina cells crucial for vision. By rejuvenating these cells, scientists have partially restored vision in animal models, highlighting the potential of cellular reprogramming in treating age-related degenerative diseases. The implications of this research extend far beyond the restoration of eyesight. The ability to reprogram cells has profound consequences for extending the human lifespan and enhancing health span. As we age, our cells accumulate damage and lose their ability to function optimally. By harnessing the power of OCT4, SOX2, and KLF4, researchers aim to rejuvenate retinal cells and other cell types throughout the body, potentially reversing the effects of aging on various organs and systems. This could lead to innovative therapies for age-related conditions such as neurodegenerative diseases, cardiovascular issues, and even metabolic disorders. Furthermore, reprogramming cells opens up new avenues for personalized medicine, where patients could receive tailored treatments that restore their cells to a more youthful state, improving their overall health and longevity. As research in this field progresses, ethical considerations and safety concerns must be addressed. The potential for unintended consequences, such as tumorigenesis or the disruption of normal cellular functions, underscores the importance of rigorous testing and regulation. Nevertheless, the promise of cellular reprogramming to restore youthfulness and extend lifespan is an exciting frontier in biomedical research offering hope for a future where aging may be viewed not as an inevitable decline, but as a reversible process. By continuing to explore the mechanisms and applications of OXY4, SOX2, and KLF4 in cellular reprogramming, we may unlock the secrets to a longer, healthier life, fundamentally changing our approach to aging and health. As we conclude part one of our series on longevity research and the quest for reversing aging, we've explored the fascinating world of anti-aging science, covering groundbreaking research, potential therapies, and the biological mechanisms underlying the aging process. We've delved into corrupted biological software, the role of DNA and the epigenome in aging, and the promising field of cellular reprogramming. In part two of our series, We'll continue exploring longevity research, focusing on current experiments in gene therapy and their potential applications in humans. 
We'll also discuss the importance of lifestyle changes in supporting longevity and provide personal insights on diet, exercise, and supplementation. Additionally, we'll examine the impact of mental health on longevity and offer strategies for stress management and improving relationships. Finally, we'll conclude with a comprehensive conclusion, encouraging viewer engagement and participation in this vital conversation about longevity. Stay tuned for part two, where we'll dive deeper into these exciting topics and uncover more secrets to living a longer, healthier life. Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to be alerted when the next part of this series is released. Thank you for joining us in understanding and potentially reversing the aging process.